right, hi guys, it's me, Linda, what is up? All right, so listen. Okay, I have been so busy and it's been crazy, but I'm here. All right, the wedding's over and done with. It was beautiful, it was a nice wedding, it was outside, it was nice, it was hot as anything. But guess what I did? I went straight inside after, I didn't care. I just went straight inside and I'm like, I ain't making my, my MS get to me and my multiple sclerosis will not bug me. So I really don't care what anyone thought at that point. I just ran inside and everybody knew where to find me. So, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? So you wanna hear what happened? So I went to go do my MRI at, I had to go all the way downtown and I had to be there at 7.30 in the morning. So which means I had to leave at my house at five o'clock in the morning to get downtown for seven. I got there around 7.15. Yeah, 7.15, so which was pretty good. Even though we caught traffic, well not traffic, more construction and everything. So we went over and done with, it was there for about an hour, an hour and four, an hour and something, almost an hour and a half, something like that. Anyways, so, um, <laughs> you know, I triple checked my bags and everything, so because we had to go, then we went to my aunt's house and um, to get dressed for the wedding. Now the wedding didn't start till 3.30, but we had to be at my aunt's house for one. You know, like, I don't know, Italians do, like they eat something like paninos, um, like cold cuts, stuff like that, just like finger foods before the wedding starts, right? Before we have to drive to go to the wedding, whatever. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So this is what happened. I was wearing a sports bra going to the MRI. Remind you, I checked my bags three, four times before I left the house. I checked, I made sure, I even went over everything. Okay, I have this, I have this, I have this. Okay, I've got my makeup case, I got this, I got that. Hair straightener, everything, okay? Comes time to get changed, and I'm like getting ready, getting my makeup done. I put, I did my makeup last, so I had my, I was dressed, got my hair, I did my hair first, then I did my, my I got dressed, then I went and go and did my makeup. And I'm like, oh shit, holy cow, oh shit. I'm like, ma, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my bra. And she's like, what do you mean? I forgot my bra. You know, I can't be wearing, I, I know my, what, my bra was white, my sports bra was white. I'm like, I can't wear this with what I'm wearing because it was, um, uh, it's laced and then it was like, my arm showed, but this part was like, Cut, laced and oh, it, it's a beautiful top but I was like ma oh my gosh she's like what do you want to do I'm like let's go to additional because I love their bras even though they're, it cost me like 60 bucks 60 dollars because you know fat tax and stuff like that you know and that's what I'm thinking it is because you know fat big boobs you're fat you got to pay extra material so even though I have 42 double, uh, not double D. Oh my God, I am not a double D. I'm a D. I'm a size D. My boobies are nice. Okay, so um, we made our way down to Woodbridge, and we went to Additional, and I ran in there, and I was sweating at this point because I was so hot and it was disgusting outside, disgusting, humid, like ugh. And then um, I went in and, I, the, and I'm walking, I'm walking towards her, but I'm like, okay, okay. The girl comes up to me, this beautiful, this amazing girl, okay? She comes up to me, she goes, how can I help you? And I said, I'm kind of in a hurry. I said, I need a bra. I totally forgot to buy a bra. I need one. I have a wedding to go to in an hour. She's like, okay, all right, and like, in a bit. Like, I, I just, you know, said an hour, whatever. And um, she's like, okay, let's get you in the dressing room. Let me measure you real quick. I'm like, I'm a 42D. She's like, let's just let's just double check. I'm like, sure. So she told me she goes grab here, lift your boobies up, lift the boobies up, and then I had to do something else. Then she's like, yeah, you are. You're a 42D. She's like, A, B, C, D. I'm like, yeah, I can't. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm a D. <laughs> yeah, I know my size. So. That was done. She and I'm like, okay, this is the bra I usually get because it's very comfortable. I really like it. Blah 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 blah. Okay, got the bra, 
I'm like, can you just rip off the tag? She's like, okay, you do that. I'm like, can you just fix this? She fixed the straps and I was like, oh. She's like, you just took like a breath. I'm like, because it feels so good. Like, oh, it's not so tight anyway. She's like laughing at me. I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, it's okay. Touch me. Just just do what you got to do. Touch me. I'm like grabbing my, my side fats and I'm sucking it in and my boobies and I'm pulling this and that. And then um, I was like, okay, okay. So perfect. 60 bucks later. That's okay. And you know what? I'm going to wear I can wear it again many times. So. That's that, and it was over and done with. So, uh, that's that. Now, what else? Someone's, oh, someone's sending me a message on Facebook. So, now I can relax, I can breathe, I can chill, holy. What's good now is the baby sleeps throughout the night, so, I get to go home in the evenings, like when my sister gets back from work, I get to go home and I can sleep in my own bed. And I'm actually sleeping better and I feel good. Whereas when I was sleeping here and it was just, I don't know, I don't know if it was stressful, like, you know, cause I'm here all the time. And But now it's way better. Like I'm chilled, you know, like, all right, let's do this. Um, so what else? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been good, guys. It's been good. Everything's been freaking fucking fantastic. Um, what else? That's about it. I'm here today because my sister and my brother-in-law took my niece to Wonderland today. And today's Sunday, just so you know. So, just in case you forgot. And we had, I love hip-hop. I love the 90s or something. Oh my God, I want to go so bad, but all the tickets were sold out. Right when I was looking it up to go uh, purchase it, all the tickets were gone. Vanilla ice, salt and pepper right here. Oh my gosh. And my girlfriend, Stephanie, got to go on stage. I don't know how the hell she got on stage with vanilla ice. Ice, ice, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this, I was like, oh, and then, oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I was there. Um, Salt and pepper, vanilla ice. Uh, who else? There was like there was like a bunch of people. Oh my gosh! And those two, I grew up to salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Ah, push it, push it real good. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you know. Now I remember when that song came out. I was in high school, and I oh my gosh, I think it was in grade nine or ten, nine I think when it came out. I was like, yeah, it was a good song. Okay, um, I guess that's it for now, guys. I don't know. I wish I could have gone. Oh. So, anyways, I think my sister should be home soon, so I get to go home and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Oh, my psoriasis is acting up on one hand. Like, how, how messed up is that? Like, how messed up is that? I found Bliss Kiss which is on like more natural like jojoba, jojoba oil right i think it's called jojoba wax whatever it's called vitamin e there's cocoa something um it, it's been working way better than these medicated stuff that does nothing for me for my psoriasis because psoriasis is ugly and people have been staring at me because now i'm more confident i don't care i wear the tank tops yeah look at the rolls Look at my fat arms. Look at my psoriasis. I know, isn't it gross? My sister goes, you're funny. She goes, it looks more like a burn, like you were severely burned. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. So you ready to see it? You ready? Because it's nasty. See, that's my psoriasis. And I don't know what's going on with my arm there. It's at the top. It's gotten all red and bumpy. But now my other arm, nothing. I have it on my knee really bad and another place on my body that I'm not going to say um that I have it and it's like seriously what what like I don't get it it's just so weird now I got diagnosed with arthritis in my knees and it's like ah so instead of the doctor saying well let's try this let's try that no do you want surgery no, I don't want surgery. I'll just stick to Tylenol, thank you very much. And I have, um, I'm anemic. So 
My iron's really low, like extremely low. That's why I've been feeling really tired. I get really tired, like I have to close my eyes to the point where I start seeing double sometimes. Um, and it's confusing because I don't know if it's my MS or I don't know if it's because of that, you know? I kind of knew I was anemic, but now I'm like really anemic. I was like borderline, but I don't know what happened. So my doctor goes, are you bleeding anywhere? Nope. And she looks, it's like, no, and she's looking at my chart. And I'm like, no, I just had my period two weeks ago. I'm good. I, no. Yeah. Or three weeks ago. I'm like, yeah, no. I, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. She's like, uh, mom's like, and then when I was talking to her, I was like, are you bleeding from your bum? <laughs> like no and she's like you never know you should do this and I have to go do all this blood work and stuff it was pretty funny actually how it came about but anyways guys oh my god I'm just rambling on and on um though this is like a long vlog holy shit um I don't know what else oh it's gonna come down now it's starting to get really dark out I think it's gonna rain right now it's because I don't know can you see no you can't it looks like there's light out there but it's not, it's getting dark. Um, there's clouds coming here. We're supposed to get like a storm or something. Um, but anyways, I guess that's it for now. I don't really know. Uh, oh, and I have, I did that charcoal magnet mask and they messaged me again, wanting me to do another, another one for them. And I'm like, yeah. And there's just so many good things coming my way and it's just like oh my god this is awesome so let's keep my fingers crossed for that um and it's like i really really love that magnet mask i'm actually gonna go whoops i'm actually gonna go do it again um, tonight when i go home i did it i did it a couple of days ago i think i'm gonna do it again so, because you don't need a lot. It is thick, but you don't need a lot, you know? But, yeah. So, I'm going to go do that. Well, guys, I hope you have a great Sunday. And tomorrow's Monday. Back to work, you guys. Suckas. <laughs> so, have a great one. Okay? Yeah. So, we'll see you later.